Hi guys, welcome to my first studio vlog. Thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. My name is Frances and I'm going to be sharing my art journey and my art business, hopefully forever. Um, so I've just done a quick voiceover intro because I've been struggling to do a face-to-face -face intro. So hopefully when you see my face, I'm not going to be all awkward and weird. So let's just get into the rest of the video and thanks again for watching. I've decided to do a studio vlog just as a way of documenting my art journey. I have just started. So I've, I've just recently set up a Shopify and I'm in the process of setting up an Etsy shop. Um, I'm kind of halfway through like putting up listings up on Etsy. Yeah, so this past month or so, I've just been getting um, like a selection of products to, up together, getting them made um, and just sort of doing my Shopify shop and I've just yeah as I say just in the process of saying my Etsy I kind of wanted like two ways to kind of sell my products rather than just relying on one like like one website or like one just or just through Etsy um I'm the I like to have like a plan b I'm that kind of person like I want I have many fingers and many pies sort of thing so if something happens like later on down the line at least I have like a backup so but my main sort of focus would be on my Shopify um, store so yeah just um I have to retake my photos my product photos again I think this is gonna be probably like the third time um, <clears throat> I went into because basically I, I wanted to set up like a little photo area so I went into Hobbycraft and I got some like white big like white foam boards and I went and picked up from Lidl's the other day oops they've got a a daylight desk lamp so I picked this up it's um I haven't tried it yet but I'm gonna have another go at uh taking some product photos yeah so yeah my photos up on my website are like they're okay but they're not great I can just like because I was relying on the sunlight you can tell that they're just a bit the color of them like from one to the other is like off and it's just bugging me so yeah and it's just sort of like I just have to sort of update stuff as I go along so but um yeah just a little bit more about me um, uh, I live on a narrowboat along with my husband Gavin and our baby dog, baby Archie, he's on the sofa listening and watching me. So I uh, thought I'd show you my work, what I do or what I've done so far and I was going to show you the products that I've got for sale at the moment and I'm currently working on a little um, toad and mushroom illustration at the moment so I'll show you that and I'll see you in a minute it's a different angle my easel so this is what I'm working on at the moment yeah I just thought I haven't so since I was getting like my products together I haven't actually drawn anything for a long time so I thought I just might do something easy and just do like a small drawing before I actually sort of do like a bigger one so yeah it's probably like I don't know like A5 size so he's taken me ages though I don't know why it's taken me a long time but yeah I gave him some like wings because why not <laughs> so, yeah so I think it'll make like a nice little mini print and a nice sticker as well so that's what I'm working on at the moment so I'll show you the rest of the, my stuff. Okay, I've just shoved my easel off. Actually, it's currently on the floor in Archie's bed. So 
these are my original pastel pencil drawings um, so this is kind of like a quite an early one that I did so this one is uh, I call this ice um, yeah I really like this one I like I like all my pictures to be honest so I'm kind of biased like that but so yeah so this is oh I can't remember what size it is it's a little bit bigger than a and than a four I can't remember like eight by no oh don't ask I don't know I'm not quite sure what size they are I can't remember this one by the way so I did I did this one quite recently um, and I want to experiment with gold leaf so this is my first attempt of putting gold leaf on and it's turned out a bit eh. um, so I've worked out what the problem is so I have so there's two there's, as far as I know there's two types of gold leaf you have gold leaf like transfer which is what I've got like this stuff and then there's like the gold actual like root like the gold leaf that's really that will blow away like if you sneeze or something so this is a bit thicker this is a bit more you can handle it a little bit more easier like than the actual gold leaf so this this gold leaf is used for flat surfaces like paper or canvas whereas the floaty floaty gold leaf is used for things like gilding um picture frames and things because you can kind of shove it in all the little corners so anyway the glue that i've got for this is used for the floaty gold stuff so it's not very tacky so what i was finding is that when i was when i was sort of transferring this on onto the actual paper the image it wasn't the the glue wasn't tacky enough so it wasn't sticking so what I'm gonna have to do next time is probably take this this gold off this wax paper um, beforehand and try and stick it on the, the alternate is I could get some of the floaty floaty gold leaves um, but then <clears throat> I don't really want to waste this so yeah this is my first attempt you can see it's just all kind of patchy where it wasn't it just wasn't coming off so it's it's basically this is attached too tightly um to the wax paper and it's not coming off when you try to stick it down so yeah so i do want to experiment more, more like mixed medium um so I've tried, I, ha I have used um, like gold ink. Do I have any up here? No, I don't. So the Newton and Windsor like gold um, gold ink I've tried. That works well. But I just want you to think that was really like proper gold and shiny and shimmery. So yeah, I think what I do with this picture is you, you can probably see I've kind of scrubbed at it with like a paintbrush. But I'll probably go over it again now that I know what I need to do. So... But I have um I have a sticker of, of this without the gold moon behind. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you some of my. So I do I do a lot of unicorns, as you can probably tell. So I'm gonna get prints um of like all of, all of these at some point. I've just done a selection. It is really grey and gloomy right now. There's a oh my god, there's like a big black cloud that's come here and it's starting to rain so i'm sorry about the lighting um i could put my daylight lamp on so this is um this is wind i've done like little collections of like elements and seasons so this one is summer so as you can tell it's i do like quite detailed stuff um, and I love using like incorporating like plants and flowers and bees and insects and other animals and I love like skulls and feathers and things like that so
was like this is another quite early picture that I did. Um, I think this is Earth. I did elements, so I did wind, wind, earth. What else is there? Water. I don't yet. Yeah, don't water, and I've got fire. I got fire left to do. So this one is uh, this is spring. Oops, come here. So all this. So this paper is all um, the Claire Fontaine pastel map paper. So it's got like a nice sort of rough texture and I really, really like this paper. It comes in various colours. It is really dark and gloomy. Ugh, I might try and put a light on. Hang on. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to try my daylight lamp. Hang on a second. Okay, I put the daylight lamp on. It's kind of shining up to the ceiling so it's not like really harsh. Yeah, it's so gloomy. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so. That, so, oops. So this is spring. So I've got like brimstone butterfly. Um, it's got sort of like moss and when you start to see like the ferns starting to grow. Uh, I think this is cherry blossom. And then you start to see like the first bees and the insects starting to come out. So yeah, a lot of in inspiration from nature. I'm always out and about. So this is winter. So I have, this is one of the uh, pictures that I have um, a print of. Winter. So this, and this is water. And I have a print of this one as well. This is like one of my favorites. So I think I might, I think I wanna like keep this original one because we live on a boat, so it's quite fitting to have something kind of watery themed and I like to sort of get it framed um, so yeah I have a print of that one and have a print of this one this is autumn autumn unicorn I really like this one yeah so I like to do kind of fairly colorful vivid pictures incorporating nature so I'll just show you a few others so this is another print that I've got made, and this is my cat witch. I just love cats wearing hats. That's just something super cute about it. But I just wanted to do, I love like witchy stuff as well. So my kind of style is, is fantasy art with a bit of witchy kind of forest core, um, maybe, I don't know, Lord of the Rings maybe or I don't know just kind of a sprinkling of like that going on so I love to do like more like cat witches I've actually got a sketch that I'm on my iPad at the moment of another cat in a hat cat witch um with like mushrooms and another toad I love toads so I've got this as a print and this one I absolutely love so this is my bookmark that I've made I've got made of so this is my forest wolf with purple mushrooms growing on him so I've had I had this idea of him for a long time I had him sketched out on my iPad and it's taken me a long time to get him uh, I guess it took me a long time to sort of get him to this stage where he's like a finished picture um, but I now have a bookmark of him. Um, I would like to do like some prints of him as well. He's obviously like a, a peculiar shape because he's obviously he was planned as a bookmark. But I, I have a another sketch of him, kind of like a similar forest wolf. Um, like it's gonna be he's gonna be green with like purple mushrooms on, and I want to add a few little extra elements onto him, like a big portrait, like. Like what I've done with my uh, unicorns, like a big portrait. So I've got two sketches at the moment planned. He's probably going to be the, my next one after I've finished off my 
toad and mushrooms. So, yeah. This is another picture which I have a print of. So this is my autumn wolf. It's a very autumn themed. Mushrooms, skulls. I absolutely love mushrooms and skulls. I just can't stop drawing them. Moths as well is another another um, little creature that I love. I just absolutely love moths. I actually have... Um, so... I love... You know those like a, a apothecary type um, walls or like cabinets? I'd love to have one of them. I keep blathering on about how I'd love to have one of them to anybody who'd listen but um uh, I found like a really cute lovely dead moth I keep him in my little um mushroom house oh no he's fallen out come here oh, I think he's lost a little antenna yeah so I found him out when I was out walking or oh, I was taking Archie out to the toilet and um I found him he's a tiger moth garden tiger moth I think oh I don't know I should know me off yeah so i found so i have him i wouldn't mind kind of displaying him in some way i don't know but he lives in there now get back in there so he stays in there on my desk for the moment um yeah i have um like a a dead butterfly um in a in a frame i have a dead butterfly in a frame um this is going to go up on my wall i got like a kind of like a gallery wall over there which i'll kind of film a, at a later date when i sort of got things put up there but i have my dead my lovely dead butterfly i left some like a nice collection of skulls as well at some point like bones and things Okay, so I'll show you um, some of the products that I've got. Here's just another little toad. I have a keychain um, of him. Again, I will show you what I've got. Yeah, so I have my toad wooden keychain. Got a nice iridescent like rainbow clip, and my mushrooms as well. Yeah, they've come out like really, really nice, like really vibrant, um, quite detailed as well. So the toad one, I actually have, I, I had got a sample of that, of this one made, and I actually have it on my car keys at the moment. Um, yeah, so I really like them. And well, so I have my mushroom forest wolf book bookmark. Um, so this is I was looking around for a while for like a really nice kind of sturdy bookmark. So this is 700 GSM. So they're essentially, it's like two pieces of card sort of glued together. So it's really like really rigid. Um, yeah, I just want something that was, that would put up with a lot of use. You know, if you're taking in and out, in and out of a book, flinging it around, I don't know, throwing it, it's going to stand up to a bit of wear and tear. So, it's on sort of like a, just a, a sort of silk paper, I'd say, so it's nice and s soft and smooth. And I've just added these little uh, slightly colour matching tassels as well. So, I think I've got 50 of these, I really like them. I love me green woof. Um, and then my prints that I've got. So I think I've got seven of them. Um, I've got three of them on different paper. So this is water and this is on a pearlescent paper. So it's got like a really nice shimmery shine to it. Can you see that? It's really, really nice. It's subtle, so you can kind of see it at certain angles, but it obviously doesn't, because I was worried about it, it was going to be too overbearing, like it might um, uh, distort the colours, but it hasn't at all. Um, and these, this is, uh, so this autumn, this is done just on like a 
a silk paper. So this is a 300 GSM, I think, and this is 250. But this one feels thicker for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. So just like a normal sort of paper, and this is this is on the pearlescent paper as well. So it's got like a subtle kind of sheen to it. I really like it. I'm kind of tempted when I get round to doing like more prints done. I like to do it on a, like a slightly textured, maybe m pearlescent paper. So this is, so this, yeah. So I did my ice, winter and water in, on the pearlescent paper. And the rest I just did on silk, silk paper. Um, oh, I didn't show you this one. So this is um, uh, my Little Red Riding Hood um, interpretation. So I love uh, fairy tales and fairy stories. And I want it, it's something like a theme I want to explore a bit more. Um, I like to sort of do more of like m like my own interpretation of fairy stories. So. This is Little Red Riding Hood, which is obviously like a really well-known, well, like famous um, fairy tale. So I got him done on a as a print. I have Autumn Wolf, and I have my Cat Witch as well in prints. And then stickers I've got over here. Oops, I got. Hang on. Where is it? So I have my hair moth moth with hair hair with moths sticker vinyl sticker it's quite a nice large one and i have my mushroom vinyl sticker as well so so yeah so all these products i have uh for sale on my etsy shop and my shopify shop as well my witch toad illustration is now finished um yeah i'm really happy with how he turned out um i'm glad that i went i went with these the lime green wings in the end i, I was sort of wondering whether i should do them a different color but i'm glad i've gone with that um so if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching um i know first videos or first vlogs are always weird and awkward and I've definitely felt weird and awkward. I am mean, generally weird and awkward anyway, so. But I'm hoping I'm going to get better at talking to the camera. I find it very difficult. So, um, for my next vlog, I'm going to talk a bit more like about what products that I use. So the paper and the pencils that I use. Um, I don't think I really sort of went into that. Um, and I want to talk about um, what plans I've got for the future for my business. So it's coming to the end of November now and I'm sort of waiting until after Christmas to kind of go to kind of full steam into what I want to do, hopefully. Um, so I just wanted to talk about what kind of products I want to sort of make for the future. Um, where I kind of want my art to go because I'm definitely I want to improve on my pastel um, just I want to I think I want to work a little bit more efficiently and a little bit more quicker I'm, I'm, I find that I'm feel quite slow at it and I want to experiment with sort of mixing different mediums in with it so um, like my gold leaf and I have used like gold inks before and I don't know whatever else I could probably think of maybe but yeah so that's what I'm going to talk about um, in the next vlog and whatever else comes up um, so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>